Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, from a very early, I feel like the first episodes. I mean, everyone knows of each other. Even if we don't know one another, we know of each right. other. Right. It's a small community. It is. Well, when it came out, the, cri- the, the reception to it, like the critics and people, believe it or not, they actually weren't, people were less like, oh my God, look at how crazy these kids are. It was more, this show is boring because you can't show sex, actual sex, and you can't show actual drinking and drugs. And then they made the comparison to Gossip Girl and they're like, we would rather, and this is like critics, like New York Times, they're just like, Gossip Girl is the guilty pleasure because Chuck and Blair are having sex and doing lines and all this. And they really were like, New York City Prep is too tame. That was a lot of the, I mean, yes, it got panned for like vapidness and privilege and all that. But it really, a lot of the reviews were like, this is the tamer Gossip Girl and why are we watching this? It was like a lot, it was a lot for the people in New York who like knew what was really going on, but it wasn't enough for just the public who didn't really understand because they never got there fully. So that makes sense of why they thought it wasn't enough to be there for others to enjoy versus just people like myself who were like, I know that person or I go to that place. That familiarity is not enough to keep a show around. No. What do you think it is about like the Upper East Side? Cause we also have Cruel Intentions. I mean, we have a lot of other things, but look at Cruel Intentions, the movie with like Ryan Felipe and Reese and Witherspoon. Why, I just think the Upper East Side. Sorry, it just froze. What was the question? Oh no. Um, what, like, why do you think people are so intrigued about Upper East Side youth? Life. Yeah. I think because it's a little scandalous. It's glamorous. It's not normal. It's very much seems like it's a bubble that's hard for others to get into. So when things are exclusive, I think people are more curious. And it's money. I think people are fascinated by money. I think so. Simply put. Was there anything on New York City Prep that stood out to you as like, no, that's so not the way it is. Or you're like, no, this is pretty accurate. You know, other than some of the minor scenarios. Yeah, I don't remember it, honestly, like exactly the different episodes. I really, I don't remember, honestly. But I don't remember ever thinking like, this is so ridiculous. And same with Gossip Girl, other than like, you know, the drama and everything, like you thought it was pretty accurate. Pretty accurate, yeah. I mean, I thought so. They were both great shows. Did you prefer one or the other, New York City Prep or Gossip Girl? Probably Gossip Girl, just because like the storyline was constantly evolving and the fashion was incredible. Patricia Field with these incredible clothes. It was fun to sort of see our uniform skirts on celebrities. And, you know, they were, it was always a fascination, really, who was Gossip Girl? Every season you kept wondering, who was it, who was it, who was it? So it always kept you on your toes. And for that, I loved it. And you had the parents. I mean, Kelly Rutherford, like. Yep. You had great parents. Like you didn't see the parents in New York City Prep. You didn't for a reason. The parents wouldn't be caught dead on that show. But it was true. You saw more of like the family life in full. But it was a great show. I'm very curious to see what the reboot's going to be like. I think, I mean, so, right. So that's the thing. Like, do you think either of these shows would stand up today. I mean, I know we're going to find out with Gossip Girl. You know, listen, the whole social media thing, like you said, that's a whole different animal. Yeah. I think that with a show like that today, it would not make as much of an impression, to be honest with you, because again, the shock factor is gone. I also think the kids are so much more concerned about perceptions and colleges and it just wouldn't be accepted today. Also with things like, you know, with our state of our country and the politics and BLM, like all of these things going on, I just don't think it would be acceptable. You know what I mean? And with the pandemic and like exuding all this money and privilege at a time when people are really suffering, it wouldn't translate well for anybody, including the network. So I don't think a show like MIC Prep is coming back, but I do think with Gossip Girl, it does have an attempt and a, a way to still make an impression because of the fact that they'll be able to incorporate social media and like I don't know what angle they're going for with the spinoff, but I just think there's more room to sort of be relevant in the storylines today versus MIC Prep, which is just like kind of been there, done that. 
I mean, that's what I was going to say. Like with New York City Prep, it's real light. So I don't know how you could show, forget about the, I mean, they were all white. Let's just start with that. And privilege. Who's going to watch that? It's so against type. I assume the new Gossip Girl is going to have diversity. I mean, I don't see how they can't. I don't know how. There should be. Like, there really was diversity in my school. We had a great grade of mixed girls from every different backgrounds and races and ethnicities. I mean, we were. It was a melting pot. That didn't happen until very late, until, like, middle school. But, you know, it was different. People weren't as mobile when we were in lower school. You would have to rely on your parents. Not every parent can commute and take their kids to school from the different boroughs. So there's lots of different things that contribute, you know? But um, at the end of the day, we had a very diverse graduating class, and that's what should be represented on these shows if they are going to try to mimic what really goes on. I think, I mean, again, I don't see how Gossip Girl could come back without a diverse cast. No. I just, if Housewives it has can do to it, be. Gossip Girl can do it. 